and it's something that unites Muslims. It unites Muslims in the sense that no matter where we go, we know that the Muslims are only... Islam has a very unique... Muslims worship one God. A Jew is not allowed to even walk into a church. Obviously forbidden to even compliment it. You're not allowed to even... A Jew can the mosque to pray. There are Christians who make claims about Islam that they... Hi guys, you welcome back. Thanks for clicking. So why are the Jews permitted to pray inside the mosque but forbidden to step inside a church? So let's hear Dr. Shabi Hali point of view and a Jewish rabbi point of view. Islam has a very unique status, and again, this is an area of idolatry, uh, in that the Islam is, is definitely not idolatry. M Muslims worship one God, absolutely worship one God. Uh, there are Christians who make claims about Islam that they worship moon gods, that's absolute nonsense. Uh, Muslims worship one God, they're very clear about that in Surah 2, 163, it's, it's very clearly outlined in the Quran that there is no else, just one God, and, and therefore Islam has a unique status in that they are not idol worshippers at all, they worship one God. Um, does, that doesn't mean Judaism and Islam are the same, but the, there, are, there are enormous differences in Jewish law. A Jew is not allowed to even walk into a church. A Jew, let's say, who's visiting Italy and wants to just see, walk into a church just to um, maybe admire its, its architecture or to see its flying buttresses, it's absolutely forbidden to even compliment it. You're not allowed to even talk about it. La Yisham al Picha, the Torah says. A Jew can't enter a Trinitarian church. Um, a Jew can ask a, a mosque, would you mind if, when you're not using the mosque, if we can use it to pray our morning prayers? Can we borrow your mosque? Can we pray? And we're absolutely permitted to, because it's not a, a place of idolatry. They worship one God. So that's very important. So Muslims are, Islam is absolutely not idolatry. And, and most of Christianity, most Christians are worshiping idolatry because they are Trinitarians. I should say as a caveat, I don't know if this helps, but there are some Christian denominations that absolutely reject the doctrine of the Trinity forcefully. Christadelphians, for example, Unitarians, for example, J. Witnesses, for example, they utterly reject the doctrine of the Trinity and they consider it complete idolatry, incidentally. So, uh, I mean, absolutely, if you, you meet a Christadelphian, these people are devout, I mean, they're very religious Christians. They absolutely reject the notion that Jesus was equal to the Father. That is completely unacceptable. That is clear. So therefore, technically speaking, a Jew could go into a Unitarian church. Not, I'm not saying this is a big, the biggest mitzvah in the Torah, but that they don't worship idols. That's important. Thank you. I think that was a useful um, addition and clarification on, on the question. And, and that prompts me also to add that uh, despite what I've said, uh, Muslims, by this constant repetition of the uh, phrase that Muhammad is a servant and messenger of God, uh, have, have drilled into uh, that their minds that, that, yes, there is only one God. And, and this has remained universal, and, and it's something that unites Muslims. It unites Muslims in the sense that no matter where we go, we know that the Muslims are only worshipping the one God. So let's say I go into a masjid in the other side of the world, Malaysia. Uh, when I go in there, I feel comfortable, I know that they're praying to the same God. I, I, I don't have a fear that maybe they're worshipping something else. And, and uh, uh, the fact that we worship only the unseen creator of the heavens and the earth makes our places of worship welcoming to people of other faiths as well. See, uh, suppose for example we followed the ancient Egyptians and we had like a crocodile representation of God. Now we have it here and we are bowing to this crocodile. So somebody comes in, whether Jew or Christian, they're going to say, no, we don't worship the crocodile. Even a Hindu person with many gods, in many different representations, may come in here and see us bowing before the crocodile and say, I can't join you guys because I don't pray to a crocodile. Right? So now, uh, on the contrary, when people come in here and they join us in the prayer, we pray together, 
all in this in a row, and there are no representations. Who do you guys worship? You, we worship the unseen creator of the heavens and the, and the earth. Almost everybody believes in that one. So even Jews and Christians can come and join us in our prayers, and it will not be antithetical to their faith. It will not be. See, if a Muslim goes and worships in a place where they have an idol, the Muslim feels right away, I can't do this because they have an idol, and as a Muslim, I can't worship an idol, right? Same thing, if we have an idol here, a Jewish person comes in, the Jewish person says, even if you're worshiping the true God, but you have an idol to represent that God, sorry, we can't join you. But if the Jewish person comes in here and sees that, that we have no representation of God, we're only worshiping the one true unseen creator of the heavens and the earth, they can join us in prayer. Next Saturday, we'll have a program here, and uh, there are uh, other peoples of other faiths coming to join us in that program, and we suggested to them, as we have done tonight, that we'll have the Isha prayer earlier, so that when they come, it's only lecture time. They said no. Keep the prayer time as it is at 7 o'clock because we want to come in and join in the prayer. So this was specifically said by a Christian pastor. And why he wants to join in the prayer and, and what would allow him to join in the prayer, the fact that we do not worship a foreign god and we don't have any representations of God. No crocodiles here. Uh, so it, only the unseen creator of the heavens and the earth. So if a Christian comes and worships with us, that Christian can, can, uh, can feel that I'm just doing the same thing which Jesus did. Jesus fell on his face and prayed to the unseen God. I'm falling on my face and praying to the unseen God. I'm not doing anything different. I have not compromised my faith in any way. Because no specific form of, the, of prayer has been prescribed for, for Christians. They have been told to pray, Our Father who art in heaven. But that means too that they're praying to the Father, not, not to Jesus. See, on that, in that prayer. So, uh, but it doesn't mean that every time you pray to God, you have to recite this prayer. You might recite some other prayer in some other words. Maybe you're going to write an examination. You're saying, God, please give me success in this examination. Uh, so you're saying different words on different occasions, not necessarily a specific words of prayer. And, and since Jesus prayed in that way and Muslims are praying in this way, Christians can feel at home praying along with Muslims. So yes, the fact that uh, we have uh, repeated this formula again and again has made it very clear to Muslims all in sundry that there is only one God and, and that God is not uh, any human being. The Prophet Muhammad is only a human being. He is not God. We do not worship him. We worship the God whom he worshipped, the God whom Jesus worshipped, the God whom Moses worshipped, and, and so on. Okay, I want to ask this question, guys. How do we know this person is a Jew? How do we, a Christian, know this person is a Jew? What if the person is a Jew but dresses normal, casual? You know, there's a way Jewish dress, Jew people dress, they wear this black hats, they wear something like a black, you know, like suit or something. I think white shirt or so. But what if they don't dress in their you know, in well, let's say uniform, uniform. Oh, they really they don't look uniformed. How will you know this person's a Jew? But we can we can never tell. Maybe there are some Jews that actually go to church, and we don't even recognize them, or we don't even know that they are, that this person is a Jew. Well, let's leave that one aside. So, like, I'm really really surprised that this is really happening. The fact that Jews can go to mosques to, you know, pray, but most of them find it difficult to go to church to pray because they think there will be segregation. And um, we need to do better. Christianity needs to do better when it comes to people or religion. I've seen few Muslims that go to church to pray, go to church to worship, and they work their hijab. That's how you can recognize them. But you will find, you will notice that there are some few Muslims too that they might not wear their hijab, but you will know that he's a, she's a Muslim until you dress a certain way before they will identify that, oh, you are, you know, from this religion. So the rabbi Jew explained the reason why they are not really, to them, they don't feel welcomed in the church, but they feel so welcome in the mosques and they know. Yo, know, Muslims are so nice, and the fact that he believes that Muslims worship the same God indirectly is trying to tell us that Christianity don't worship the same God, like the way Muslims claim that we all worship the same God. 
so that's the reason why they felt you know they are not really welcomed in the church and Dr. Shabi Harley says something that oh we worship the same God we don't worship crocodile I don't understand what it means by crocodile is it trying to refer to churches or Christianity that Christianity are this because uh, uh, please guys I need to be clear on that please let me know in the comment box what what it meant by we do we worship one God but not crocodile let's let's keep this discussion going in the comment box so he also gave his own explanation that no Islam Islam welcomes anybody to come and pray like everybody all join the line that is they don't have special special people that will stay in special special places so you all stand in one you know row you pray you can come everybody's welcomed unlike church that you know it's really hard for you to go and he says he told us that muslim only worship only one god like the way the jews said sometimes some christians don't really worship god like the way they claim they are worshippers of god that some of them you know put their hands in other things spiritual things and they will use christianity to cover up why he said muslims are not like that well guys let's leave that one side but i was just shocked to get to know this but my question is how do we know that this person is a jew i know as a christian when you're in church how do you differentiate a jew from person that is a christian that is the reason why we easily you know recognize a muslim because of the way they dress if they don't dress that way we know that the person is a muslim so it's just my thought exactly i'm just thinking aloud and I don't know what you think about it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. Let's keep this discussion going. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, and comment. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.